How to create a zip file on your Windows laptop or PC. Hey, if you've ever wanted to send a bunch of files to someone or just tidy up a folder on your computer, creating a zip file is one of the easiest ways to do it. And in this video, I'll walk you through exactly how to zip up your files using a Windows. But first, real quick, what exactly is a zip file? Basically, it's a compressed folder that can hold one or more files or even entire folders. Think of it like packing a bunch of items into a suitcase. It keeps everything together and takes up less space. This makes it perfect for sharing files over email, uploading to cloud storage, or simply organizing your stuff. So let's jump into it. Start by heading over to the folder where your files are saved. Now select the files you want to compress into a zip. You can do this by clicking and dragging your mouse across them. Or if you want to grab everything in that folder, just press Ctrl plus A on your keyboard. That shortcut selects everything instantly. Once your files are highlighted, right-click anywhere within the selected area. This will bring up a context menu. Now, if you're on Windows 11, you'll likely need to click Show More Options to see the full menu, so go ahead and click that. Next, hover over the option that says Send To, and from that side menu, choose Compressed Zipped Folder. The moment you click that, Windows will automatically create a new zip file right there in the same location. It'll usually be named after one of the files you selected, but you can easily change that. Just right-click the new zip file, choose Rename, and type in something more descriptive. Keeping it clearly labeled helps a lot, especially if you're planning to email it or store it somewhere for later. Now here's something to keep in mind. Zipping files doesn't actually remove or delete the originals. All your files are still there exactly as they were. The zip file is just a compressed copy of them. And if you ever need to unzip or extract the contents later, just right-click the zip file and choose Extract All. Windows will walk you through choosing a location to unpack everything. So that's pretty much it. You've successfully created a zip file. If you ran into any issues along the way or something wasn't working quite right, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. And if you found this tutorial useful, it would mean a lot if you gave the video a thumbs up and subscribed for more simple tech tips like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.